Okay, just start my puppet back again. Um, yeah, so <laughs> once again, I can get everything working, but as soon as I jump back into the game, it's crashing every time. So I'm going to try to go back to the game now. I'm hoping it doesn't crash. Jeez. Oh, yeah, so it's not a problem I've had before. It's very strange. This game has never given me this much trouble. Since it seems like it's working and there's just a delay, I may just have to not jump out uh, to check on things and just kind of hope and assume it's working okay. I don't know if that's really a good idea or not. Um, so I may not be able to actually jump out and check the stream um, if I do this. Now, last time I had an issue where the video wasn't recording but the audio and everything worked fine. I've had some issues with some other older games before, but uh, this one I haven't had a problem with before, and OBS hasn't had an update or anything. And I played around with it a little bit yesterday and was able to record some stuff and just kind of checked and made sure it was working and everything worked fine. But something about streaming is causing it to kind of freak out for some reason, jumping between uh, looking at OBS and looking at my dashboard on Twitch and then jumping back in the game. It's just killing the game every time. So I may just have to proceed on faith, which is not something I really like to do. But uh, anyway, so this is a sci-fi point-and-click horror adventure game. So I do have my headphones on. I'm not sure how loud I'm talking, if I'm talking loud enough or not loud enough. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for it here uh, and then hope everything's working fine and I'll check on it when it's done. Um, I'm not really going to be able to check chat or anything though if I do that because anytime I exit out, anytime I try to come back to the game, it just closes it for some reason. So uh, yeah, let's just go for it and hope for the best, I guess. Kind of loading from where I was before because I did play around with uh, kind of redoing the last section with the video was lost so that I can update or put that up on YouTube uh, down the road. Eventually I do put my streams up on YouTube uh, as well so they don't disappear completely. So here we kind of checked out this area, um, hadn't really figured out what we need to do. There's an environmental control room that I need to get into that requires um, a motion sensor to be just set off, but I can't be next to the motion sensor and activate it. Um, what I need to do is shut off some poisonous gas that's blocking me from getting to the next tram. And the only place I haven't checked was that I noticed at the end of the last one that this uh, torn up floor grating here is something I can actually go through. Everything else had kind of checked out, all the PDAs and stuff. We kind of read all the comments and looked at everything. So let's see what we can do here. That is a long way down. Okay, that's not super helpful. <laughs> I thought I might be able to get through there. What do I have? I've got a drill. Hmm. It's drills. The bed's kind of on the edge here. I don't know I if can't I can see it working like that. Not to knock some stuff over. Got the creepy human organic growths here. I'm assuming there's still people inside of them. Kind of creepy. I'd kind of read through this stuff last time, so I'm not reading through it again. There's a clustered braid here. I can't interact with it really. It's just. This icon just sort of looking at, um, if it's something I can interact with, it'll be sort of a hand. Huh, okay, so I thought for sure I'd be able to get down here and maybe do something, or get to some new areas, but it seems like that is not the way to go. Um, yeah, just to have the drill, there's nothing else I can really do anything with. I've got these. I can't see it working like that. I'm gonna drill the people that are turned into plants. That would be kind of gross and disturbing, I would assume. And we do have this where there's steam wafts constantly upward, although it's more benign than the gas in the room. It's kind of odd that there's steam coming from a sleeping cot. Uh, I think that would break. Yeah, that's kind of what I would think too. I was kind of thinking, since it said here that it's uh, a clustered braid, almost like a rope. But I can't do anything with these. You 
other than trying to drill it, which doesn't make any sense to me, but... I can try to make it fit, but it may break. You know, it's adventure game logic where you try to use anything you can with anything else. Especially when you're stuck. Sometimes it seems like there's things that I'm just missing because it is quite dark and there's no way to adjust the uh, uh, brightness. Uh, other times it kind of miss a door that you can go through or some place you can go. Hmm, yeah, I thought for sure I'd be able to go through here and that would help me get to the next step. Now I have no idea what I'm going to do, because I thought for sure that would get me to the next thing. Uh, the power's out out here for some reason. And so we hit this room with just the PDAs. There's photographs on the floor and papers, locked lockers I can't get into, various different cots. I need some kind of maybe rope, but you'd think that braid would be what I would need, but maybe I need something to cut the braid other than the drill. Just looking to see if there's anything I might have missed. It is pretty hard to see some of these spots. So I'm just going to kind of go back over and sort of refamiliarize myself with what I can get to. That's around. Yeah, so this is where I was at here. What I need to get to is to the tram station here. There's a uh, toxic gas coming out. So you have here the door must have a faulty seal. A cloud of acrid gas hangs near the floor, leaking from the room beyond. I can't override the door um, and force it to open, but that will just kill me. So that doesn't really do me much good. I need to shut off the gas first. But it seems like I need something. I've got the elevator here as well, which doesn't seem to work. No power to the elevator. All I have is a drill, I guess we'll try to try that. Fit. Uh, entertainment block is blocked off. The kind of red shows that it's locked. Scratch marks. Something was trying to get in. Drill this door. I don't know if I tried that last time. I don't think that'll work. Got steam here from somewhere under the floor grating. Steam wafts constantly upward, although it's more benign than the gas in the room. So yeah, got some places of steam. Don't know that that would do me much good. Kind of feel like I need something to cut that braided organic growth. And then back this way is kind of the security office. Uh, something horrible came through here. Um, I really don't want to go back. <laughs> Doesn't look like I can go back. Check that out before. So I've got the security office here. I don't think I can go back where I came from. There's no backtracking. Multitude of machines and pipes knit together lie redundant. This is where I came through before, kind of a almost fallout vault door here. Pretty sure I tried drilling I don't think before. So here we have kind of the controls, and I can turn on the motion sensor, which is over here. So I need something to interact with the motion sensor 
to make it register so the door will open so I can get into life support control. So all we have in here is a couple corpses, uh, security cameras, computer terminal, dead computer terminal, Take a look at the cameras. This is where we need to go. I'm not sure where this lower right one is actually showing. Yeah, here under atmosphere control, motion detector. something. All I have is a drill, so let's try drilling everything. Just break it. That might be a good thing. How about the door? That's just crazy. That's not that crazy. Well, no. Drilling a corpse? Oh, that seems kind of creepy and morbid. Hmm. Yeah, all I have is a drill, so... Yeah. I think that would break. Other than that, we've got the portals. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, no. Just PDAs, PDAs. Power down computer terminal. It doesn't work like that. Hmm. I am a wee bit stumped. So motion detection device has been installed above the door. This piece of wood here, I keep thinking like I need to move it. Maybe there's something. This is a strong metal door. Yeah, there's got to be something I'm missing somewhere. Yeah, sometimes you can click on things you can look at, but that'll sort of trigger a cutscene or something like that. So I hadn't done this before, so now I have a little bit of a view inside, but it doesn't really help me much. This is what I need to get to. This console provides access to the atmosphere controls that make life possible aboard the vessel. A slumped over body, rigor mortis has left this body a parody of a worker managing the controls. Life support machinery. These pumps manage the dispersal and collection of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other atmospheric compounds throughout the ship. Just click on it, see what happens. I can't get to it. Pathing error, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> close as I can get. Oh, pipes. Conduits that blend and disperse the gaseous elements that form the ship's atmosphere. Okay. Oh. I don't know how seeing in here is helping me in any way, shape, or form. So another terminal that might provide access to advanced system functions if it weren't hopelessly powered down. Security terminal, nothing, can't do anything. I can shut off the cameras, maybe? Power? Doesn't look like it. Nothing. Hmm. 
And I don't see any other ways in there. How do I trigger the motion detector? More pipes and machinery. Scaffolding forms a protective shell around assorted machinery, rising toward a high ceiling. Maze-like shadows are cast onto the walls and ground. I can't go this way. Got a drill. No, that won't work. Yeah, it's like if your only tool is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Is that kind of a saying or something? All I have is a drill, so I'm trying to drill everything. Yeah, there's a ladder in here, but I don't have a way to get in there, it looks like. I don't even have it coming up um, by holding the cursor over it. Yeah, clicking on it just makes me walk over there. Okay, that's not super helpful. Hmm. So unless something changed because I was able to look into the uh, life support control, don't know what else I can do at this point. Trying to interact with some other things just to see if anything else happens. Anything of interest anyway? Probably not. Just want to double check the security panel here and see if there's anything else. I think it was just I can override the door controls was the only option I had. And door lock due to atmosphere control override or exit. These buttons do nothing. Before I'd lock an open door, which kills me. Just stare at it. Okay. Hmm. So dark, just trying to look around for anything else I might have missed just by moving the cursor around. <laughs> so it's kind of that point in adventure games when uh, it can be kind of frustrating. Probably not super entertaining to watch either, I'm sorry. Somebody probably knows exactly what I need to do and they're like, ah, oh, you're missing the most obvious thing in the world! Try to interact over here with these things just to see if anything creepy happens. We do nothing. We're totally fine with human shaped root people. Yeah, the fact that here it mentions a braid specifically. Kind of looks like there's stuff here too going down, but I can't tell for sure. So the only other thing I could do would be to try to drill the torn up no, floor grating. Try drilling this stuff. It just seems like it's the only thing I have. So. Maybe if it... No. No, that won't work. I keep thinking if I could knock this cot in, it would drag some of this stuff with it. 
But I tried drilling it already and tried interacting oh, with it. Work. And nothing happens. I feel like it's got to be something like that. Trying I know what I was thinking there. Drilling different places. Nothing there really to interact with. No, that won't work. Uh, how about over here? So this one does say it's a wrenched away from the wall, either by the damage done to the floor or the power of the root growths themselves. Maybe I'll try messing with that one just to see. Clicking on that does nothing. No, that won't work. Interacting with the cot does nothing. Mm. Drilling does nothing. Probably not a good idea. Interacting does nothing. No, that's ridiculous. Try the one that says it's been wrenched away from the wall just to see. Hmm, maybe. No, no, that won't work. Yeah, I feel like it's just I need to do the exact right thing in the exact right spot, is what it seems like. Or I'm missing something. I swear it's got to be pushing this thing down this hole. It seems like this is sort of connected to the roots that are on here, so if I push this down, I'll have a rope. But nothing is helping me. No, that won't work. I keep trying the same thing over and over again. It's crazy. Mm, probably not a good idea. Well, I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Yeah, it almost makes me wonder if there was something at an earlier stage I was supposed to pick up and should have in my inventory, but I don't. But usually these kind of games don't let you proceed if you don't have something like that. That you need later, because otherwise you just end up stuck. Of course I am kind of stuck. Hmm. Very weird. I feel like I know what I need to do, but I don't know how to do it. It's also quite dark and hard to see if there's anything to interact with. At least the PDAs do kind of shine, so you can kind of see that stuff, but other items could be kind of hard to spot. Yeah, it's gotta be something else I need. seen anything else I can pick up or really even interact with. More corpses, which you've already checked out, the PDAs. Got 
more cots, of course. So these have been scattered from the original position. Some of them have human innards between them where they crushed people. So lockers I can't get to. I can try to interact with these just to see if I can move any of them. I don't think I can. Try drilling them too just to see if that lets me move them so I can maybe get access to a locker. Other than that, drilling corpses. I don't know what else I could do. Ah, oh, bed locker. Here's something I did not notice before. Oh, the locker probably contains memories and keepsakes from another happier time. And there's another bed locker. What do you know? Just looking to see if there's any others I can see. Yeah, I totally did not even notice those before. What was that? Linen bedsheet. Okay. And apparently nothing in this. Locker is open but empty. So are we making a rope out of a linen bedsheet? Is that what we're doing? I would think going down the braided growths would actually be safer. Let's try this. Tying, tying, tying. <sighs> okay, now let's see what I can do. Easy goes. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I was like, am I dead? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, John, you're gonna get yourself killed. Hey, this is all new. Okay, we've got uh, pipes, hollow tubes, snakes cylindrically in their cavities. What am I standing in? I'm not given any fresh sludge. This passage of sludge reflects the maze of slats above, creating a queasy illusion of infinitude. Excess drain. An unfamiliar smell emanates from the corroded drain. Wonderful. Can go that way. And we can go this way. A dense web of pipes obscure the view after just a few feet. So can I get in there? No, apparently not. I still have my drill, and that's it. Path of these duct ducts form a wave that runs along the top of this unnavigable thicket of tubes. But I can go through it, it looks like. Let's try going this way first. We've got more light that way. Can't go into the access drain. Yeah, so just go that way. Just looking to see if I could find the linen in here, but it doesn't seem to be there anymore. What the heck is that? And where am I, anyway? <laughs> um... Corpse. Remy Andre Borgen, classified. King Corporation. Person data tag 7901. Blood 0 positive. O positive, I guess. Yeah. Scary level classified. Skeleton. At first glance, the half submerged skeleton seems to lurk in wait like a prehistoric predator. Corpse. John Kernas, classified. King Corporation. Personal data tag 7907. Blood O negative. Security level classified. It's interesting that they're both O. Fallen grating. Lump of metal has fallen from this jungle of alloys. 
Where am I anyway? I can't even see. Overhead access pipe. This three-way passes over the channel below, providing access between the two terminus points. The sides are covered with a variety, or scored with a variety of markings. Oh, well, this is me down here. Okay. So since this is a way further out, I might want to check the other way first, just to see. In case it's a dead end, we'll check the other way first. That's as fast as I can move in this, apparently. We've got more stuff here, too. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much where we are. So here's where we're at. More pipes. In the poor light, only the serpentine outlines of the piping can be seen. Drainage pipe. A massive open drainage pipe rings the center of the room, just barely protruding above the flood of sludge. Okay. Methane gas tank. A gas tank full of methane sits ensconced in a complex housing berth. Cautionary text runs down the side of its pipes in small print. Assuming this is some kind of puzzle. Pump station diagram. A diagram of the pump station spans a large portion of the room. Printed matter doesn't have a tendency to lose power. Got a couple corpses. Manchuk, steward, personal data tag, 82237, security level zero. Right, screening. Andre Sen, science officer, personal data tag, 78341, security level two. Got some valves. Hmm. I'm assuming we're maybe going to fill or not fill this room up, that would be big drainage. Hmm. <laughs> I want to go back the other way and check out the stuff there. Um, yeah, I don't think I can get up to these. I don't see an obvious way anyway. I'll try clicking on it just to see what kind of path he tries to take to get there. It's like there should be a ladder here or something, but it's gone. Maybe I could just climb up, though, it looks like. Well, maybe not. Methane gas tank. Nothing. I could drill a hole in methane gas tank. That seems like a horrible idea. Yeah, I can't get up to these. So yeah, maybe adjusting the sludge level or coming up from or coming down from above at some point. Okay. Kinda hard to see down here. Something. Where was that? It's totally black on my screen here. I can't see anything here. Hanging lanterns strung along the passage hang pairs of lights like baleful eyes. They're not lit up. Jeez. Yeah, something ran away from me. <laughs> cat. God damn cat. That's well, a cat. I think Jupiter, I think was his name. The uh was in the logs from the previous section. One of the uh, people working in the hydroponics had a pet cat that disappeared when the station kind of had the uh, things go wrong. I don't think the cat wants to be friends. <laughs> Cats don't make those kind of noises when they want to be friends. Kind of cornered, I really don't wanna. Ah! I can't believe that just happened. Okay. 
That was definitely creepy. There's no hole there to interact with. Um, I don't really want to get that close. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. I'm not, not, not walking over that. That's okay. Okay, I'm inside the overhead pipe I could see. Got something singing. Got a PDA here and a giant blood smear. Zane Adams, so May through December 28th, May 19th. Every single day, Grant brings his poor little cat to the plant. I swear to God, it's going to die of methane inhalation. June 4th. I did a number on my ankle. Doc says I'll need to keep any weight off it for a few days. I hope Grant can pick up the slack for me. October 31st. Some of these idiots think that the fungus spreading through the Groom Lake was caused by aliens. The place is disgusting, so of course it's going to be overrun with mold. December 25th. If you guys tried to get Tram Station B repaired, I wanted to go and help, but I don't know shit about trams or stations. Anyway, they haven't come back yet, so everyone's more than a little worried. December 28th. The guy sleeping in cell block, sleeping in sleeping block, cell block. The guys in sleeping block B are absolutely fucked. I'm reasonably sure that we're next. Stacy almost didn't make it in. Poor girl's too young for this. That's a funny thought. Who is old enough for this? It reaches a point in their life where they figure they're ready to be ripped apart by God knows what. And I can continue through. This looks bad. Sewage. A swamp of chemical and biological waste from throughout the vessel has found its resting place here at the pumping station, creating a swamp of sewage. The wretched stench assaults you so thoroughly it's hard to process. Pump station terminal. Uh, terminal controls pump station in this large industrial space. Got a ladder going down into the muck, it looks like. The ladder connects a safety walkway with the scum caked floor of the pump room. The lower half disappears into the acrid liquid. Tim, methane is explosive, right? Highly. Why would there be methane tanks under the crew quarters? Kane doesn't care about safety. They're driven by profit. Yeah. So leaking methane gas. Clouds of methane rise from the ruptured tank, filling the room. Well, that's not good. Detached floating methane gas tank, a buoyant methane tank. This is the elevator to the annex. Can you climb it? No. It's just a shaft. I can't see an entrance. An elevator shaft. Large cylindrical elevator shaft occupies one corner of this room. We've got release valves here. A row of valves control the release of various tubes. Small flecks of paint hint that the wheels were once painted bright red. It's a rusted methane tank. The tank appears to have drained of its methane. Methane gas swirls around the bowl of this rusted tank. Rust is winning the war against the metallic surface of this tall tubular canister, which appears to contain methane gas. Sewage. That stuff just pouring in here. Oh, wonderful. So we got sewage coming in. Let's increase the level. No, decrease the level. So maybe this is for the valves over there. The thing is busted, something like that. Let's try to lower it. These are green down, these are white sideways. Try turning them down, maybe? OK, 
can't do anything with these. I'm not interacting with them. Just looking at them. All I have is a drill! Uh, I think that would break. Yeah, that's probably a horrible, horrible idea. Sparks in here would be a bad thing as well. Can I turn them here? either. Hmm. Let's get us two separate areas here to drain. Four tanks here, there's four tanks here, one of them is a problem. random things. There must be some kind of hint somewhere. We've got some PDAs back there I need to check out. So there's weathered and worn pipes run from the gas tanks and trail off to the rest of the facility. I'm surprised I can't mess with these release valves. So we'll go back and check and see if we can get to those other PDAs from the security guys. to the goo. Yeah, so here I'd like to raise the level so I can get to this stuff and these valves. But in that room I might want to lower it so I might be able to get into the elevator shaft. I might need to do this first though. See what we can find on those other PDAs first, too. I think we can get over here anyway. With them or do anything. My skin looks dissolved. 
Your bug suit should protect you from any harmful chemicals. For a short while at least. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not long enough. Can I get to any of these? No. I'm trying to go the other way around. Nothing here I can get to or read, it seems like. Ah. Oh, we're in the entertainment area. Okay. Okay, I'm here. I'm to try this. Torn up floor grating. Metal floor grating has been twisted and rent as if by incredibly powerful hands or machinery. Freaky, uh... Holographic emitter, seductive dancer sways her hips to a silent tune. It's not silent to me, it's pretty damn loud. See if these people were just killed. I didn't skin it. Eat it. I went hunting with my uncle when I was a kid, I know what skin it looks like. I did it myself, but when I saw it. I'm a vegetarian. Tried grabbing this, didn't do anything. Looks like a recent addition. So maybe we can use that to set off the motion detector if I can remove it. This is a useful drill. <laughs> Excellent. So now we've got just. Tons of corpses here. A pile of dead bodies. Skeletal remains lie clustered together around the room as if they died in a stampede or clutching each other. Somehow the bones hold no scraps of flesh. Stephen Cameron, computer sir system specialist, personal data tag 5171, build type A positive, security level 3. Dead bodies. Bodies clutch one another in a strangely intimate embrace. Edward Sheldrick, Propulsion Specialist, Personal Data Tag 5039, Blood AB Positive, Security Level 3. Neon Sign, Bucket of Mud. The name of the club glares in Radiant Neon, whose ultraviolet light dances around the room. A dead tree. Trees stand just as skeletal as the other remains in the room. This one actually has a picture. Visa Toivona, an electrical engineer. Personal data tag 3511, blood O positive, screen level 3. Try to interact with her since it's a little different. Now this one's got a picture as well. Most of them is just blank in the corner there. Let's see if I can get to her. This one is Sergei Koptev, operations officer. Personal data tag 4273, GNS, blood B negative, screen level 3. Doesn't seem like I can get to these for some reason. Paul Cook, Junior Engineer, Personal Data Tag 3701, Blood O Positive, Secret Level 3. David Leggetti, Environmental System Specialist, Personal Data Tag 4597, Blood AB Negative, Security Level 3. Wikipedia here. Tom Van Nierenden, Assistant Intelligence Officer, Kane Corporation, Personal Data Tag 7591, Blood A Negative, Security Level Classified. Let's try him. Is way too loud. Okay, he does nothing. Cigarette vending machine. Sure, must have been zoned for smoking. A cigarette vending machine sits idle here. So you try drilling it. <laughs> I think that'll just break it. Got a pool table. With the transparent surface of the pool table, you can see how the metal grating bends toward the massive rupture in the center of the room. Looking at the pool table, nothing. Here we've got a pool table and pool cue. Pool cue rests atop the game table, tip chalked up and ready for use. Well, let's grab that if we can. Thank you. 
dead bodies on pool table. Two bodies last sprawled on the pool table. They may have tried to escape what killed the others here. This one, Justin Lotus, Mission Specialist, Personal Data Tag 5757, Blood B negative, Security Level 3. I wish the music would stop or get lower. Check out the PDAs here. Neville Chambers. We've got a hollow queue thing here. January through December 26th. So January 4th. Can't believe I'm actually in space. I know that a whole lot of people have been here, but you really don't appreciate the cosmos until you see it from beyond Earth's atmosphere. It's not something to be taken for granted. I hope this is the beginning of a long journey for me. If I could just live in the void for eternity, I would give anything. June 24th. I don't miss Earth at all. Unbelievably, the gazes of passing asteroids are less cold than most humans. It's amazing to see all the constellations up close and personal. I started writing a comic about myself, the space adventurer. Although I've just been sweeping and dusting on the Groom Lake, I know it's my key to becoming one with the cosmos. September 11th. My comic book is coming along nicely. I've decided that I'm not going to make myself a superhero, but I'll lead a team of super geniuses and we'll use the power of the universe to save it. My sidekick is Carl Sagan. Einstein pilots the Bride Pawn. It's my awesome ship. And Hawking crushes stuff with his cybernetic limbs. Issue 1 done. Super 26. Despite what I've been through, I still love space. I've seen enough movies to know how this is going to end for me. I wish my comic books hadn't been lost in the Tremors. They were pretty much my final testament. I even finished issue 6. We destroy a race of parasitic squid-like guys, except they keep one as a pet and train it to fight for us. It also bites Einstein and gets a cool scar as a result. Anyway, it's too late for that. I'm going to spend my final days in the universe through any window I can find. Taking in the universe through any window I can find. Peace out, universe. Other PDA here. Disney Dippinier. So November 3rd through December 28th. November 3rd, Tammy and I had a great evening together. This mystery alcohol is pretty much a miracle. I've made my throat burn terribly though. Ha ha! Ha ha! Uh, November 23rd. Oh my god. I thought I was literally gonna starve. The stupid fungus crap ruined all the food. We finally get a delivery and it was great to eat something. The new food isn't as good as the food Hydra makes though. November 27th. I wonder if Kane Corp would let me volunteer for Project Seed. Surely they give you some great benefits for volunteering. You just have to have been pregnant before, I think. Do abortions disqualify you? I'll look into it. November 30th. Nope, they need volunteers who have actually birthed a baby or miscarried late in the pregnancy. They also have to be at least 18 years old for whatever reason. How did Kane know I was 17 anyway? Those documents look darn realistic. Oh well, I guess I didn't want a bunch of experiments on me anyway. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. December 19th. I'm literally freaking out. The Grim Lake went like boom, and then stuff started falling and shaking. I almost got a fork stuck in my neck. Jeb got caught under a bed. Now I feel bad for calling him a creepy old man all the time. December 20th. I had a good idea. I said that we should use the tubes that we send the experiments through to get people to medical because the trams are broken. Everyone loves me now. Tammy's gonna help. She's so brave sometimes. I'd go too, but she said no to. She's kind of like a mom to me, but she says that would be weird because we're best friends. December 26th. Tammy's not back yet. I don't know what to do. If I never had the stupid idea, she'd be okay. It's my fault. Robin says it's not my fault, but I know it is. I'm just so stupid and useless, like I was at home. I don't even have a home. All I do is hurt people. December 28th. I wanted them to get me. I killed Tammy, and now it's my turn. Zane carried me to the recreation area. I kicked and screamed as loud as I could, but he dragged me in anyway. I wish I could be a good person like him. I'm useless. I think I'll sit by the door so they get me first. Maybe I can buy everyone else a second or two. So, cigarette vending machine. I don't know, I've got a pull cue. Use the pull cue on the cigarette vending machine. I guess. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me. If it does something, I'll be slightly shocked. I kind of just want to get out of this room. The no <laughs> noise from the music is just really irritating. Oh, hey! What do you know? 
Cane Corporation lighter. Metal Cane Corporation lighter. Okay, I'll get a lighter. We got a lot of methane leaking. I don't think a lighter is a very good idea. Back in the sludge. Can't interact with any of the corpses here. Just gonna see if any of these match any of the people from the story, from the PDA. Doesn't seem like it. Can't even see where I am. Okay, there we are. Yeah, if I raise the level, I might be able to get into the access drain too. I'm not sure. to try to remember to check that if I raise the level. tank here. I really need to raise the level to check out this stuff, I think. Oh, here we go. Stop, stop, stop. Up, down, down, left, right, left. I need to increase it. Up, down, down, left, right, left. is wrong then. Just can't do anything with the release valves. Broken off balustrade. I didn't notice this before. A section of balustrade is broken and fallen away here. It's all then weakened by years of exposure to the pungent waste dumped into this room. I can't do anything with the valves. Yeah, I think lighting a lighter here would be a super bad idea. <laughs> I'm assuming that's probably a way to get killed. Let's see if I can use the ladder. It just goes down into the goo, so that's probably not something I want to do. I'm trying to figure out what the lowering... Some of them look like they were missing for lowering the level. We can brute force it if we have to. Okay, it looks like down, up, up, and then mysteries. Could be the same. But this looks like it should be an up there. So down, up, up. Can try the same left, right, left.
Take you down. Up, up. Keep these the same just to see. different settings. Yeah, I know it's draining, but where is it all going? Drainage hole. Massive shaft exists to flush the collected sewage out of the chamber. The tube is constructed from an extensively reinforced compound to resist corrosion by acids and chemicals. So I guess we'll take the letter. Is there anything down here that I really need? Um. Taking? I can't tell where I'm at even. There we go. Click on the top of it to get him to go down it. Methane gas tank has fallen from its mooring nearby. It rests precariously against the base of the elevator shaft and is still full. So, like the screen is showing, I probably need to reattach that, maybe? Pipe grip. Exposed and broken pipes protrude from the ground. There's a faint hiss of combustible methane escaping from its industrial prison. And detached. This one also still full. Rusted ones. Not sure what the pipe grip means. Maybe I can tighten it so that it's not leaking anymore. You said it's been three months since all of this happened. Shouldn't there be a rescue mission on the way? This is a deep space vessel. It can operate indefinitely. If it wasn't for the psychological effects of deep space travel, she wouldn't even need a new crew. So nobody's looking for us? No, and even if they were, there's no way for them to find us. Three months is a long time adrift. This place seems like it's in way worse shape than it should be for three months since bad things happened. Pipe grip on the thing. Fall down the giant drainage hole would be awesome. Eroded elevator shaft. So constructed from extensively reinforced compound to resist corrosion by acids and chemicals. So, screaming. Um, hmm. I still feel like if I use my lighter, it would probably kill me. I don't know. That seems like an obvious thing I could use. It's methane gas. It would start a fire of some sort. Let's see if maybe now I can do something with the release valves. Probably not. But it's worth a shot. Just check. Yeah, can't interact with them.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save it for the heck of it. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, lighter on the methane gas, I guess. Why not? That seems like a great idea. Um, seems like that didn't do anything. Huh. Okay. Kane Corporation lighter is securely held between the broken pipes. Huh. <laughs> There's our death. Now, why would we want to put a lighter there? I can't really think of a reason we would want the lighter there. Seems like that's the only thing to do with the lighter. I don't understand what the point of that is. Other than maybe blowing a hole in the elevator shaft. It's been three months since all of this happened. Shouldn't there be a rescue mission on the way? This is a deep space vessel. It can operate indefinitely. If it wasn't for the psychological effects of deep space travel, she wouldn't even need a new crew. So nobody's looking for us. No, and even if they were, there's no way for them to find us. Three months is a long time adrift. Okay, so it probably won't work, but I was thinking of trying to use the lighter um, from above with the pull cue. And maybe that would be a safe place? I kind of doubt it, but um, okay. We've got exposed elevator shaft letter with the massive wound left in the left side of the left in left in the side of the shaft a sturdy maintenance ladder that survived the explosion can be seen and before we go i just want to check the other area um, to see if the sludge level dropped there just to take a look and see if anything else might have been revealed doesn't look like it since there's still sludge here. And everything's pretty much the same. Yeah, I guess I don't need to get up here. I just needed to see this. Okay, I guess we'll take the ladder. New horrible place we end up in. So did I lose my pull cue? Yeah, pull cue's gone. Tia, I can get back up to the crew quarters. Hey, it opened. I don't know why it opened, but it opened. I can go back if I want. I don't know that I really want to, particularly. Oh, 
off. I can use the hologram to get into life support control. Making some progress. So I use it with the motion detector. I think I just put it on the floor, but I can't really interact with the floor there. Life support. Atmospherics. I can understand why they had all the extra security. Yep. Okay. So we've got a slumped over dead body. Check out PDA or something looks like. Ronald Anderson. So September 23rd through December 25th. Is this it? Could this really be my golden opportunity? I've been transferred to security with a guy named Paul and some other guy whose name I don't quite remember. It sounded kind of like Sarge, so I'm just going to call him Sarge. By the way, I'm glad. Maybe I'll make, finally make real friends. Ronald, is this? This is the guy that I mentioned that. Uh, it wasn't all there, kind of mentally. Paul is mean, but Sarge is okay. November 6th. It looks like food supplies aren't coming in anytime soon. People seem upset. There's a lot of alcohol around. I don't drink much because my dad used to, and it got scary sometimes. Sarge is still nice when he's drunk, though, uh, even though he said I'd make a pretty girl. Uh, December 6th, we got a mystery package from the cloning vats today. I was even allowed to type the terminal entry. It's supposed to go to lab 18. Sarge says we're going to put it in a medical storage bay for now, though. It looks, or it makes really scary noises. It's named Samantha. I liked a girl named Samantha once, but then this guy Anthony who stalked her was stalking her and then she moved away. Paul just read that over my shoulder and reminded me that the PDAs are for work-related logs only. I don't like Paul. Sarge said I can type whatever I want. December 19th, the whole, ship, uh, the whole ship just shook a whole lot. Power's out everywhere, everything's locked down, but we can get through some of it because we're security. I hope nobody got hurt when things went flying around in here. December 24th, people are trying to get tram station B to work because A is closed. And I think we killed some people today. Sarge is angry, he's beating on the window. I'm so confused. Access terminal. <clears throat> vent atmosphere in tram corridor. B. Attention. Atmosphere vented in tram station B. Cleared for access. Okay. He's like, does that mean it's a vacuum in in there? That would be bad too. But the seal was busted on the door, so even if it was some oxygen and stuff would get in there, I would hope. It almost looks like it would activate if I don't near it. No icon coming up. Cloud of acrid gas no longer hangs near the floor. So now I should open up that problem. Drive lock. And progress. I found her. Your daughter is in the medical bay. All right. 
let's do this. Well, we've got some creepy blood smears here that don't look super happy. Actually, it looks like a blood fountain or something went off here. A couple ways to go. We'll check the non-bloody way first, I guess. It seems rational. Specimen transport. Oh, this is what they were using to get around. I think they said specimen transport. Specimen transport container. A faint scratching noise is coming from the plastic box. Yeah, great. Switchboard. Specimen transport container. Black resin permeates through small perforations in the crate walls. Huh. Good scratching one. Project Kitchen Knife. Hmm. No info, it's just... Faint scratching coming from the plastic. And just exit, there's nothing under Kitchen Knife. Limb regeneration. Hmm. It's not really puzzles or something. I mean, it's kind of a weird path here. So I wonder if this is part of a puzzle, maybe. connected to that. Kind of weird way to set destinations and stuff. Hmm. We don't know where we want to go, so it's not really doing me much good at this point. Kitchen knife or uh, limb regeneration. Limb regeneration sounds medical, so maybe try that. But we'll check out the other areas here and stuff here. The hallway of blood. The most metal of hallways. Oh. Huh. Specimen transport container. Plastic container seems fair share of use. We've got more information on these, probably with more destinations. Sealed lid of the container is caked in reeking green mold. This one of skull and crossbones warning sticker peels up at its edges, indicating that this container was once used to transport dangerous cargo. Got a corpse. Roger Kellen, quartermaster, personal data tag 83773, security level 2. Check him out. Tia, the tram isn't operational. What do you mean? Can you fix it? <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. There is no other way out of there. There has to be. Let me look around. Fuck, this is all falling apart. <laughs> And we've got destroyed tram, the gnarled wreckage of twisted steel sits haphazardly or hazardously in wait. I think haphazardly would fit better. I think you just walk down the tram line, maybe, if it's busted. But yeah, I'm sure we're going to use the specimen transport to transport ourselves. So this is the dangerous one. We'll check out first. That might be a bad idea. Medical bay. Medical this bay. Is it. So you, Weird Thingy, and Ur, which I probably won't remember. I'll check it again before we go back. This one was for hydroponics. And hence the mold, I guess. Project Seed. Mm. What? 
Nothing, just reading out loud. Yeah, that was the thing that was mentioned in the PDA about the uh, wanting women who've had children before. Definitely sounds creepy and disturbing. I'm sure we'll find out more later about that. Okay, so the medical one was what? You, Funky4, and you are. Okay. Anything else to interact with? I can go. Can't go this way. That's kind of weird. This is. You there's the funky four. inside the box. Okay. This is either brilliant or yeah. very, very stupid. I'm gonna say both. Quantum devices are not permitted in specimen storage. Quarantine procedures initiated. Quantum storage device reset. Okay, let's see what we can see. This definitely looks like the medical facilities. I think I'm on the right track. Yeah, you're on the medical bay level one. Your daughter is four decks below you. She is so close, John. So close. And blood everywhere, of course. So did I lose? I lost my drill. Yeah, so again, I'm hoping that the stream is working okay. I can't really go out and check it, because every time, recently, at least today for some reason, if I check on the stream or even check my software for recording and I come back the game just crashes so I haven't been checking anything so I'm hoping it's working fine uh, we're gonna keep going a little bit here since we're still making some progress seems like every time I stream this game I have more and more problems than I had before so uh, yeah definitely weird okay red glow from tube the infernal glow of these lights is not comforting Shut down terminals. These terminals control various elements of this apparatus, but every single one of them is dead. Machinery. This machine may run diagnostics on the specimens that arrive via the tube. Nothing there. Specimen drop-off tube. Stenciled inside this tube are the word specimen, receiving. Hanging wires due to non-public access. Not much care was taken to secure these exposed wires. Hmm. Can I go through here? Lots of blood in the medical bay. What else do you expect? This is strange. I'm not reading any PDTs in your area. They should remain active. Even on a de- Tell me, John. Why are you working with this jackal? 
Dr. Milan. Ah. She's been talking about me. I'm nobody. I just want to find my family. Without a family. Man alone in the world. The impulse with the cold. Are you trembling, John? Because make no mistake. Yeah, I don't trust Milan, but I also don't really trust her. Uh, we had creepy turrets. Uh, indentation in the floor. The section of the floor features a rectangular indentation. It's strangely clean in comparison with the other blood splattered sections of floor. Oh, yeah, we just saw turrets come up out of it and look around and not shoot me, thankfully, and then went back. So that's good. Blood stains. Dark blood splatters the walls, but most disturbing is a lack of any cadavers among the gore-soaked gore carnage. Blood, but no bodies. This area has been witness carnage. No bodies litter the ground. Blood, but no bodies. Lots of blood. Glass door. The view through the sliding glass door is obscured by dried red jets of liquid. Looks like something was drugged, maybe. Not one body can be seen amid the debris. Crate is locked and not opening anytime soon. Okay. Thought I was fine because I didn't get shot when I went in there before. Uh, gotta go through that cutscene again. I think it would have saved at that point. This is strange. I'm not reading any PDTs in your area. They should remain active. Even on a de I Tell me, John. Why are you working with this jackal? Dr. Milan. Ah. She's been talking about me. It's just trying to skip through this, but I nobody. can't. I just want to find my family. Without a family. Man alone in the world. The impulse with the cold. Are you dead? Because make no mistake, you are alone. sensitive but I'm gonna save it here because I don't want to have to go through that again and again and again if I reload or anything I'm gonna try to leave can I not leave I can't leave okay that's odd moving very very short distances just to see <laughs> Maybe they're triggered by movement, or maybe it's moving to this side. Juca Cola vending machine. Good old Juca Cola, banned in several colonies. Juca Cola is a highly addictive, absurdly potent blast of sugar and stipends. More loose wires. Cables and wires hang fairly from the wall paneling. Engineer's work appears to have been suddenly interrupted. 
Hmm. Yeah, maybe if I cross the line, it won't. Then they'll trigger? I'm not sure. Thought something else popped up there. The spending machine has been knocked over, but probably not by employees. The Kane Corporation certainly didn't subsidize the price of these sodas. Load that one instead of going through that again. Hmm. So I have no equipment. If I step past here or something. I'm trying to see if there's some kind of limit to where they're activated. Super weird. Hmm. So now I have a soda. No, I'm gonna like throw it out. the edge and get a soda. I don't know why, but why not, I guess. Oh. It's saying Juca Cola. It's like playing an ad or something. It just sounds super weird and creepy and distorted. Can I go past here? So now where to go? More loose wires. Mr. Coca-Cola. I don't know what wires. I was thinking there. There's nowhere else for me to go. If I head this direction, I get shot. I have to deal with these stupid turrets somehow. These don't go well together. <laughs> Chuka Cola and Bloodstains don't go well together. Hmm. Can I get more than one? Never like Chuka Cola. Oh, okay. We've got a hanging wire. Loosely hanging, insulated cabling sways gently to a silent tune. So I can keep shoving it. Surprised it hasn't triggered already. <laughs> Dead Juca Cola. Not that for a minute, like minigun, I'll have a minigun. Hanging the wire here for some reason. Um, <laughs> just so I don't have to go through this again. <laughs> I'm gonna save over that one. Because I have a feeling when I grab this, it's gonna kill me. 
Nope, no. Okay. Thought I'd get electrocuted just touching the wire there. So I have loose cables. So I still have a turret here. for me to go other than here. Got the weird crate as well. Can't do anything with that. I think that'll just break it. Trying random weird things here before I. I don't think this will fit. Walk across the floor and get shot. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. Hmm. That's why I saved it. on the crates. I don't know what I was thinking there. Yeah. Can't interact with these. I do have an exposed duct. Okay, so I can get through that. Shredded metal tiles reveal a service duct below. So we can get there without getting shot. Wow, that's creepy. Another dead body. This was no safe haven for this poor soul. Sentry gun computer controls. Terminals connected to the turret nearby. A stack of empty Jupiter Cola sands <laughs> cans sit nearby. Just uh, getting all hopped up on new Jupiter Cola. Slow spinning fan shadow. The fan shadow is unnerving, having you nervously checking the periphery of your vision for the movement you swear you saw. It's a little spinning fan. The air in the tunnel alternates between stale and putrid with decay. Sentry gun base. Turrets poised to spring into the room above and eliminate any unauthorized personnel. A pistol. Wow. Faint smell of gunpowder lingers around the emptied weapon. There's blood all over the place, too. Another slow spinning fan. Sickening odor of death and rot wafts into the room, making you gag from its nauseating scent. Check out the body first, I guess. Found the body too. He's pretty bloody up. Stephen Drayson. So we've got May through December, and then some other stuff here. It's May 18th. Four power rushes today. Damn it, I thought they had a lid on that. People have been way crankier than usual. One of my boys just broke down today, shaking and scratching like he was suffering from withdrawal or something. I checked with the nurses who examined him, and it seems like there was some sort of drug in his system. He swore blind he wasn't dirty and hadn't been taking anything, but they're always preparing a tribunal for the but they're already preparing a tribunal for the poor guy. The thing is, I believe him. Everybody's been acting a bit peculiar lately. Number sixth, what's happening to my beautiful ship? The crap is growing up the spine of this baby like a cancer. I keep mailing Dr. Milan about this, but he hasn't responded to any of my messages. I know he's reading them because I get more of those stooges from hydroponics down and collect samples whenever I send more than a few words his way. I managed to corner his assistant the other day and demanded to know when we'd be getting our share of the rations. She looked at me like she hadn't slept in a week and said, soon. None of us are sleeping properly. I try to greet each day with a smile, but the wrenches are getting panicky, if not mutinous. I spend my time breaking up fights instead of maintaining the engines. I was thinking of taking a group down to the engine ports and torching the shit out of the hole, but I'm worried it's too late for that now. November 20th. No more engineers, no more hope. When you take these things away, you've got nothing left. 
I'm dictating this wedge under the main security terminal. I don't think any of those things will hear me. The rest of the survivors are holed up in the bulkheads, but nobody's willing to risk leaving until we had some sort of protection. I pointed out we'd either starve or die anyway, so they voted overwhelmingly for me to try to get help. So I came down here through one of the maintenance access tunnels and programmed the security terminal to mark any individuals with their PDTs to unplanted as hostiles. That should at least get the turrets on our side. I'm not sure it'll work, but it's all I could do. Seems odd that you would target people with the PDTs still in them. I'm alone now. Hell, I'm used to it. Never met the right girl and all that. I'm pretty sure I heard Lotus screaming, you know. They're probably all dead now, but I can't know for sure. I could hear those things peeling panels off the floor and walls like they were paper, and I'll be damned if they'll find me cowering under the floor like that. Guy Fox jumped with the noose around his neck when he was about to be executed. Did you know that? They were about to. They were going to half strangle him and then rip him to pieces, but he cheated the executioners, breaking his own neck before they could carry on torturing him. I'm going to do likewise. Got a gun for my protection, see? Only one bullet left, but no matter, I only need one. Notices and reports. Personal data tags. From Dr. I. Al Rajkupar to all staff. Regarding personal data tags. Dear all, for those of you who are still able to receive these messages on the internet, you'll know by now that the creatures are using our PDTs to proceed past security checkpoints. Okay, that's why. To prevent this, I've decided that each in turn, you'll proceed under armed guard to the primary surgery pod where your PDTs will be removed. Once this is done, we will program the security protocols so that they will target all creatures that still possess these tags. Do not answer the doors to your quarters unless confirmed by the designated password. Today, the word is Aegis. Emails from S. Tyson, S. Dryson to all engineers regarding the situation. This is how it is. The unidentified substance is still spreading. It's fouled up engine ports D through G, and after a brief confab with the drive engineers, I can tell you it's having a detrimental effect on the efficiency and speed of the engines. The long and short of it is that the ship is seriously slowing down. The only thing accelerating is the speed of the fungal growth. Its origin is unknown, although we're narrowing it down. This is a crisis situation. Use the hardest stuff you can find to remove it from the fixtures and drive plates without actually endangering the protective casings of the drive cores. Good luck, guys. Steve Dryson, Chief Systems Engineer. There's nothing around the body. Just grab the gun. Not that it sounds like it'll do us any good. There was only one bolt left and he used it on himself. Get up. Let's see what it says. Anything? Empty pistol. Sentry on computer controls. Kane, anti-personnel systems, remote sentry weapon power status. So A is messed up, B is still active, no low ammunition. I think the gun itself is still active, it says. Maintenance overdue by 295 days, replace cable sleeping 18A. I have no idea what that just did. tell this one's not operational, but I knew that because it shot the crap out of the other one. Why does it just go away when I click on anything? It's kind of weird. There should be a way to shut it down. I just thought I'd be shutting it down here. Sentry gun base. Do anything here. Hmm. 
Maybe. Yeah, no. Huh. That's just crazy. Although... Although... Nothing. Although nothing. Sentry gun base here. Hmm. I wonder if I can use the cable. No. Crazy. I thinking I can connect the cable to the gun up there and then actually use it, possibly. Looks like I could go down here, but no icon coming up. I pour soda in the base. I can see it working <laughs> like that. Huh. I pour soda on the controls. I think I could just turn it off. It would be the most obvious thing. Oh, okay. Shot to bits here. Should be fine. Uh -huh, I can walk wherever I want. I can't interact with this. Nothing happens when I click on the crate, it seems like. Where to go? Take a look at the glass door. Can I just break it? I don't think this will fit. I'm trying to fit it. I'm trying to hammer on it to break it. Now I can mess around with this. So the gun is most likely for general security, though desperate measures have been instituted to control Jukukula addicts in certain situations. Okay. So now maybe I can connect to this work. to the base, maybe, and then use that to shoot it. Maybe. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. No. Oh. Huh. here at all. <laughs> yeah, replace cable sleeving, 18A. That's why I kind of thought I could just replace the cable. Maybe I have to replace it from here to the gun instead of from the base to the gun. I don't know what I was thinking there. No? Can't do it from... Hmm. Maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Can't 
get to this one to take anything from it. I don't see anything else that I can grab or use. It doesn't seem like I can go any further, but it's it looks like it continues. screen might move and show further down the tunnel or something. Well, it doesn't seem like it. So we don't want to go crawling around in the dark creepy tunnels. out of the gun up there? I don't know. Wouldn't think it'd be the same kind of bullet that you could use in the pistol anyway. Mini gun. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to add a puzzle to something I didn't even need to add a puzzle to, apparently. So I am going to end it here, I think. Um, let me go ahead and save it too, because every time I exit out and stuff, the game crashes. So that'll be about it for today. Hopefully we'll be coming back with some more stasis. Hopefully finish the game here. Uh, it's kind of my scary uh, Halloween-y kind of game we're messing around with. Um, but yeah, I seem to be having more and more issues the more I play it, actually, with uh, streaming and stuff. So hopefully I won't have any problems. I'm going to have to check this and make sure this actually even streamed correctly and uh, saved correctly and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully everything worked fine. Um, but I appreciate you all uh, hanging out and checking out the game with me. And... Uh, Hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks.